Hello, my name is Nicole, and I will be reading Boo to You, Winnie the Pooh. Once each year, there comes the, a most peculiar day. The dark grows darker, the leaves rattle on the trees, and everything is a tad spookier. On this particular day, Winnie the Pooh was dressed like a bee, snacking on his last drop of honey. Oh, Halloween, he chuckled. Though I'm not fond, fond of tricking, I do enjoy treating. A few minutes later, a, skele a skeleton bounced in. Not late, am I? asked Tigger, for that was who the bouncer was. Behind him were two, Eeyore's, the real one, who was wrapped in bandages like a mummy, and Gopher, who had dressed up like Eeyore. Hello, Eeyore and Gopher said Pooh. Tag Nabbit, said Gopher. You know it's me? He left to find a new costume. Come on, Pooh, cried Tigger. We better get a move on. But first we need to get Piglet, Pooh replied. Piglet was putting the finishing touches on his costume when he heard a Tigger-like boo-hoo-hoo coming from his entryway. Why, Piglet, said Pooh, as his friend hurried to greet them. Where's your costume? We've got to get ha get Halloween in, said Tigger. Oh, uh, uh, Piglet stammered. He didn't really want to go outside. While Piglet gets ready, said Pooh, I'll try out my concert, my costume on our friends at the honey tree. But Pooh, Piglet said, following his friend, perhaps it would be best. Pooh said as he started out the door. If he didn't say my name, it might make the bees suspicious. But the bees knew exactly what Pooh was trying to do. They began to buzz angrily. Nearby, Rabbit inspected his pumpkin patch. Perfect, he proclaimed. Bzzz. Suddenly, Rabbit heard the bees. He looked up just in time to see Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore smash into his beautiful pumpkins. The bees flew away, disturbed by all the chaos. Well, of all my favorite holidays, Rabbit sighed, Halloween isn't one. Soon it grew dark and Piglet hurried home. As he got into his costume, he realized he was just too scared to go outside. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Who, who's there, he squeaked. It's me, them, us, said a Pooh-sounding voice. Pooh Bear, asked Piglet. How can I be certain it's you? Perhaps if you said something only you would say, then I'd be certain. How about I am Pooh? You are, said a confused Pooh. Then who am I? It is you, squealed Piglet, jumping out of his costume and opening the door. Piglet, said Pooh, will you be joining us for Halloween? I'm afraid I'm just too afraid, Piglet replied. That's okay, said Pooh Bear. We won't have a Halloween. We'll have a Halloween wasn't. Thank you, Pooh Bear, Piglet said, smiling. Piglet and Pooh and Pooh explained their plan to Eeyore and Tigger, and they and with that everyone went home. Alone once more, Piglet created lots of notes, telling all the spooko spookables and monstery beasts to stay away. They had to know that it was a hollow wasn't at his house somehow. Soon, a storm began to rage outside. Pooh looked out his window. I hope Piglet isn't too frightened, he said. I suspect that something should be done. But what? He tried to concentrate. Think, 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 he muttered. And to no one's greater surprise than his own, he did just that. Just because Piglet can't have Halloween with us, said Pooh, there's no reason why we can't have Hallow wasn't with him. A little while later, Tigger was bouncing around when two figures opened his door. Spookables, hollered Tigger, tripping over his tail. The Spookables removed their sheets. It was Pooh and Eeyore. 
We're on our way to Piglet's to have a Hallow wasn't, said Pooh. Would you care to come? We made new costumes since the other ones were torn at the pumpkin patch. What are we standing around here for? Tigger said, snatching a sheet. They'd almost, reach, they'd almost reached Piglet's house when a tree branch snagged Pooh's bedsheet. Pooh was certain he'd been clutched by the claw of a spookable. Help, shouted Pooh. Pooh Bear, Piglet said, hearing Pooh's cries coming from just outside his house. Tigger and Eeyore, still wrapped in their ghostly bedsheets, tried to free Pooh from the branch. Oh no, Piglet cried when he saw them. Spookables got Pooh. I must help him. Halloween or no Halloween. Suddenly, Piglet remembered the costume he'd made. I'll save you, Pooh, he cried, putting it on. He stumbled outside and yelled, Boo, as loud as he could. Pooh, Eeyore, and Tigger looked up in horror and ran away, leaving Pooh's costume on the branch. They ran past a startled gopher, who was now wearing a rabbit costume. Look out, Spookables, they shouted. Gopher looked up just as Piglet ran into him. They both went rolling up after the others. Rabbit, who had been trying to keep his remaining pumpkins dry with an umbrella, glanced up. Not again, he cried, just before Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, Piglet, and Gopher collided with him. Costumes and pumpkins pieces flew everywhere. Finally, the friends untangled themselves and discovered there was not a single spookable around. You saved us, Pooh told Piglet. You're here and the Spookables aren't. You must have chased them away. Way to go, Piglet, exclaimed Tigger. Piglet's friend shook his hand. Wait half a second, Piglet, said Tigger. You aren't dressed up as anything for Halloween. Piglet realized he lost his costume and all the excitement. Then he smiled. Oh, but I am. He said, I decided to be Pooh's best and bravest friend. And that, said Pooh, smiling down at Piglet, is precisely who you are. Thank you for listening.